the Eclipse 500. This is the jet that inspired a whole new category of aircraft. Beneath its sporty lines and compact exterior hides some very big technology. So we've cleared out the back of this Eclipse to get access to this section here, or more specifically, what sits right underneath it. Because sitting under here is one of two FADEC controllers for the airplane. That stands for Full Authority Digital Engine Control. And this controls that Pratt & Whitney 610 engine that sits on the back. Now this takes all the inputs from the pilot and turns that into signals that can be interpreted by the engine. So we're going to talk a lot about what this FADEC does. But of course, as the old saying goes, you can never really appreciate what you have until you've lost it. So to give you a taste of what it's like to fly without FADEC, we've got one of these. This is the venerable Cessna Citation considered by many to be the workhorse of light business jets. This particular version offers single pilot capability, a plush interior, and a fully featured glass panel in the cockpit. Now, of course, we're not necessarily interested in the front of the airplane as much as we are what's strapped to the back. This Williams FJ44 turbofan engine, it offers up a lot more power, but this version is mechanically controlled which means it doesn't have a FADEC controller. So for those of us more familiar with piston engine operation, there's going to be a couple things with a mechanical turbine that are going to be new. The first thing that's going to be new is we have one calculation before we can fly. That's the N1 speed calculation that governs the power we can use for that day. So with many jets, you have to pull out the book, look up your temperature and pressure for the day, run that calculation. Fortunately, we've got the luxury model. We've got an N1 calculator right here. So now that we've got our N1 speeds calculated for this takeoff, there's a couple more things we're going to have to look at. As we line up for takeoff, we have to consider that we can't just bring the throttles all the way forward to the firewall like we would on a piston engine. That's why we ran that N1 calculation earlier. So we want to ease the throttles forward just to that maximum N1 setting, and they can get very sensitive towards the upper end of the throttle range. So you'll find as you're standing on the brakes adjusting these throttle, it can take a little time. Now, it's not the most difficult thing in the world. Obviously, professional pilots have been doing this for years, but if you're just trying to be here, having fun, flying the airplane, wouldn't it be great to offset that workload to somebody else? In a two-pilot crew, that's exactly what we do. The pilot will bring the throttles up, he'll call for the set power for the co-pilot, and then the co-pilot will focus on the throttles setting the power. power set. Wouldn't it be even better if we could somehow automate that and we could just focus on flying? With the Eclipse, that's exactly what we do. Well, now back in the Eclipse, you're going to see the differences right away. For starters, we don't have any pre-flight calculations to run. There's no N1 speeds to calculate. The FADEC controller does all that for us. When we get to the takeoff profile, it's an entirely different experience. All we do is take the throttles, push them all the way forward. That's going to tell the FADEC computer that we want to set takeoff mode. The FADEC will manage our engine speeds. All we have to do is eyes forward, focus on flying the airplane. So once again, back in the CJ, in the climb phase of flight, we have to manage our power. It's not something that's done automatically. And it's really a task that never goes away. There's not a lot to do, but we have to maintain our N1 per our N1 target. So we'll reset that up here, our N1 target. And then we'll just adjust our throttles during the climb so that our N1 speed actually matches that target. It's not a lot to do. Then again, the throttles are very sensitive. To me, it feels like a big sneeze would maybe make you move the throttle and have it go out of position. The other thing is, it's a task that never goes away. It's something that we have to manage actively the entire flight. So we've reached a climb phase in the Eclipse, and again, you're going to see a pretty big difference in workload. We don't have any calculations to run with the N1. All we do is we move our throttles from the full forward, slightly aft, until we see MCT appear here on the N1 indicator. That means that the FADEC has gone from its takeoff mode to the max continuous thrust mode, and it's going to manage all our engine settings from there. Back here with the mechanical control engines, as we get to the cruise phase of flight, still one more adjustment to do. So we'll come up here, look at our N1 settings. That gives us our target once again. And then we'll look here at our N1 and adjust our throttles per our target. This is not as high of a workload in the cruise phase of flight, but certainly not the same set it and forget it that you have with the FADEC. So now that we've reached cruise in the Eclipse, you can really see what a difference it is to fly with the FADEC engines. 
We actually have nothing left to do. We've already set the engines in the MCT, the Max Continuous Thrust Mode. And all that stress and all that pressure of worrying about are we going to push the engines too hard, are we going to have any sort of exceedance, it's all gone. The FADEC backs us up the whole time. It's like having your personal co-pilot with you at all times. And it really makes flying this airplane a lot of fun. Now we've seen what it's like to fly this airplane in the normal circumstances, but I'm sure you can imagine what it's like when the workload gets a little bit higher. If you've got a go-around or even an engine failure with a go-around, it really can get out of hand quickly. You've got a lot of things to be doing. You get busy in the cockpit. When you're by yourself, Beta can make a world of difference. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, give us a call or a click today.